Hello friends, it's September already, and the summer heat is slowly losing its grip on the weather. Which means it's time for you all to enjoy another major War Thunder update. Please welcome Direct Hit. Brings along a whole series of UI improvements, a fresh batch of vehicles, and, of course, graphical improvements that make the game even more beautiful and realistic than ever. Let's begin with the new weaponry. And what better way to start than with the fire and forget type of weapons? Now you can enjoy drop and forget bombs. You'll find them on the brand new MiG 27M. We'll tell you about this aircraft a bit later. Homing bombs with a TV seeker will ensure a direct hit so that the pilot can switch to their next target right after the drop. Captains of naval vessels will now be able to use Gunnery Fire Control Systems, or GFCS. They include a whole series of devices like rangefinders, command and rangefinding stations, artillery directors and plotting rooms. GFCS makes aiming at flying targets significantly more comfortable with an aiming reticle. UI hints for each gun's status and a convenient lead marker. Now, the new graphics. This update improves all water effects and makes water a real object that can interact with other map features and players themselves. If a machine gun volley hits the surface of the water, you'll see a series of tiny little splashes. Meanwhile, a huge HE round will throw a whole watery pillar up in the air. Artillery volleys, torpedoes, and setting fire to vessels big and small has never looked this pretty. As for air effects, the vortex effect has now been updated. It's those little condensate traces seen next to wingtips at high speeds. Flares look even more stunning now, too. Ah, <laughs> we know, we know, you're here for the new vehicles, right? Let's see them, then. The Swedish Tech Tree receives a new top fighter interceptor. Please welcome the Saab JA-37. Its mighty 11,000 kgf engine can propel the aircraft up to 1,350 km per hour near the ground. For suspended armament, it can carry six air-to-air -air missiles, two for medium range and four for close range. Add to that a 30mm cannon and rockets, and you're all set against enemy ground vehicles. Another new aircraft is the Soviet MiG-27M fighter-bomber, with a true feast of weapons. Rockets? Check. Bombs? Check. Precision-guided munitions? Of course. And this is the first aircraft to receive new types of ordnance. Guided bombs and the Ha-29T TV Seeker missiles. Its six-barreled 30mm Gatling gun can basically soar through enemy armor, while the new engine designed specifically for low-altitude flying will ensure you get within shooting distance in no time at all. Here's another new vehicle, the three-engined BV-138 flying boat. By the way, the model was created by one of our players participating in the revenue share program. Its ordnance load is limited to only six 50kg bombs, but its defenses are top-notch. 20mm cannons both in the front and the rear, and a 13mm machine gun in one of the engine nacelles. What do you get if you install a full-scale tank gun onto a light IFV chassis? You get an amazing light tank called the Sprout SD. With a weight of only 18 tons, its 510 horsepower strong engine will get you where you want in an instant, while the Soviet 125mm gun will make sure that every shot obliterates your enemy. American tankers can also throw their own party as they now have a brand new Abrams. This time it's the HC model with additional defenses for the turret and a modern active protection system that can disrupt incoming anti-tank missiles. The Navy is getting updated too. Here's a Soviet battleship with the name of Parishskaya Komuna. 
The vessel has 12 305 mm cannons in four turrets, capable of shooting from both sides. And for auxiliary weapons, it has a total of 16 more 120 mm cannons in casemates. The American tree is receiving the new heavy Baltimore class cruiser USS Pittsburgh. Its main caliber comprises 203 mm cannons, and its anti aircraft defenses are an object of envy for many of its counterparts. Well, that's how many vehicles we can cover in this video, but there's much more, of course. Like the new top Chinese tank with a welded turret, the ZTZ-99-3, the exceptionally mobile Japanese Type 87 RCV, or reconnaissance vehicle, and the Italian C-13-90 armed with heat rounds, a sort of hybrid between the AUBL and the Dardo. Finally, we've created not one, but two new ground maps for you. The first one is a large urban map, inspired by the Siege of Breslau, that features a river with multiple bridges. It has park areas with open spaces and a tight urban sprawl for close-range street fights. The second location is the Spaceport. Yes, you might recall it from the event last spring, but this time it's serious. A desert map with a launch pad for space vehicles, wide streets, and a group of high-rise buildings in the center. And of course, the full changelog is available on our official website. Please subscribe to our channel. You gotta try out the new vehicles yourself. Hey, that's fun. And share your impressions in the comments below because we want them. Good luck out there.